Hello, my name is Carrie, and I run Cookbook Divas, and tonight I'd like to look through the Aegean Cookbook, Recipes from the Mountains to the Sea with you. It's by, and I'm probably going to massacre this, Mariana Liva de Taki. How did, I, how did I do? I am very curious about this newish cookbook. It came out in September 2020. It's huge. Woo! And I don't... Oh, 2021, excuse me. It's brand new. The chapters are pretty simple. The sea, the land, the mountains, and recipes for after, which I'm assuming is desserts. Starts off with fish, of course, and a photo of the author. Introduction. Oh, I dream of traveling there someday. I'll take anywhere in the Mediterranean. Okay, here's the sea. The first recipe of the book is fried anchovies with potatoes, chopped herbs, and lemon mayonnaise. Second recipe is grilled squid with graviera. I don't know what that is. Arugula and lemon zest. So pretty basic. Serves four to six on a sharing plate. A little bit of info. She says it's not very typical to have fish with cheese, but I tried this recipe a while ago and have loved it ever since. Of course, the ingredients here, directions here. Whole charcoal grilled fish with lemon oil and parsley. That's giving you a little idea of what's going on, and then she intersperses it with pictures from the Mediterranean, people that she knows, I'm assuming. Sun-dried octopus. Wow! That is something I've never seen in a cookbook before. Okay, wow. And let's keep going. Pan-fried shrimp with metaxa. Did I say that wrong? Metaxa? I don't know. Uh, black orzo with cuttlefish and green peas. This is going to be a fascinating book to sit down and, and spend a little more time reading more closely. Mussel saganaki with feta, fennel, and ouzo. Very, very Greek right there. Lots of fried things, pan-fried, fried sardines, marinated anchovies with orange and lemon, grilled peppers, and vine leaves. That sounds incredible. We're still in the sea chapter. Cuttlefish stew, some pictures of the fishing boat. Mm -hmm. Big part of life over there. Oven-baked potatoes with capers and anchovies. Wait a minute, are we out of the sea chapter? Well, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Let's keep going. Aha, the land. So why wasn't that recipe in the land chapter? Because that's where potatoes are from. Oh, well. Zucchini and feta fritters. That sounds incredible. Again, fried items. Not too healthy, but so delicious. Here's something I've never seen. Barley rusks with grated tomato and goat cheese. That is fascinating. I'm going to learn a lot from this cookbook. Something called Cretan Matacos with eggplant. I didn't say tacos. Cretan summer salad with fresh cheese and traditional rusks. I guess I have to look because I don't know really what a rusk is. Ooh, I see zucchini flowers. Fried again. Stuffed zucchini flowers with fresh cheese and honey or stuffed zucchini with lemon sauce. Yum. I love, oh, and here's more. Stuffed zucchini flowers with goat curds and anchovies. And Cretan zucchini and feta bake with sesame. Watermelon, charred feta, and bread salad with mint. I've actually had that at restaurants before. Fancy restaurants. Green leaf salad with figs, pomegranate, and sesame brittle. Ooh, nice. Dried fava bean dip. Tomato and oregano fritters with whipped feta. There's a lot of fritters and fried things in this book. I'm not complaining. Chilled cucumber soup with fried zucchini and spiced almonds. Okay, oh, beautiful. I have to show you this. A cruciferous... Vegetable salad with pomegranates. Wow. Okay, moving on, moving on. Beet salad with yogurt, carob, molasses, and almonds. That looks incredible and colorful. I love how fresh everything is. Fresh corn with parsley and chili with strained yogurt and fried crisp breads. Shall we move to the next chapter if I can find it? Stuffed vine leaves with rice and carrots, also known as dolmas. Burlani beans, which I've hardly ever cooked with. Grilled vegetables, quail eggs, and whipped feta. The mountains. Okay, what is food from the mountains? Giant beans with celery and smoked pork belly. Okay. 
thyme, oregano, and fenugreek pork tenderloin with tzatziki, tomato, and onion salad. Slow-cooked rabbit with whole baby onions, hazelnut, parley, parsley sauce. Fried rabbit with rosemary and vinegar. Chicken with okra, oregano, and aged vinegar. <clears throat> Fried snails with rosemary, vinegar, and red wine. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't know that people other than France ate that. Lamb kofta with parsley salad. More pictures of the scenery from the mountains. Lamb chops with lemon and oregano. I was wondering if some lamb was going to show up. Mutton. Filo pies. Beef cheeks with crushed potatoes. Beef with dried figs and instant pickled salad. I was wondering if they had a pickling tradition like most cultures. Here's the for after. Is it desserts? Yes, it is. Crispy filo custard and cretin mangoes. Ooh, they can grow mangoes there? Semolina cake with syrup. Buttery cookies with lemon cream and fresh strawberries. Ah, oh, that's a nice simple way to end a meal. Okay, here's a word I'm going to try and say. Lucumades with honey, cinnamon, and sesame. How did I do? Almond and raisin pastries with carob molasses. That was your cookbook look through of Aegean by Mariana Lev Leva Titaki with foods from Crete and the Mediterranean. Amazing. I learned a lot. I'm going to flip through it more slowly once I get off camera. I'm going to skip the meat parts, but a lot of the recipes I can just substitute fake meat or just go without meat, and it'll be amazing. And now I'm hungry for super fresh ingredients and zucchini and for fritters. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can see more of our cookbook look-throughs at Cookbook Diva's website. We're on Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and of course Facebook. Bye.